ground for us. We can only be um, so many places. Um, our staff is following us around and driving us around and doing all of the things. So we appreciate the people that are supporting us. We appreciate the people that um, we haven't ever met that are still handing out our lit and calling people on our behalf because it's really a team effort. <laughs> I think, you know, it's kind of ironic to be standing in front of this President Obama sign and for the last couple of times I've been telling people he ran. Um, and I didn't follow him very closely. I mean, I follow him. Um, but one thing stuck out is when he talked about hope and hope not being blind optimism, but hope being um, having the ability to stand up in the face of obstacles and acknowledging that it may be difficult, but still um, understanding that you as an individual have the power to affect change. And that starts with us voting. And so I really have been digesting that and trying to get other people to understand that. Like, we are really hopeful. Like, we really think that we can win. But hope is also an action word, just like faith is an action word. And so all the things that we have been doing, all the work that we have been putting in for the last couple of months is the action that shows that we are hopeful and that we do believe a blue wave is coming. And if we didn't believe it, I wouldn't be getting up at 5 o'clock in the morning and driving all over the state. But, you know, we You know, we keep talking about like the state having all of this money and these resources, but not pouring it back into our communities. And I was up visiting some churches um, in Gary, Indiana yesterday, and I was between churches and I said, I'm just going to stop by a coffee shop and I got to use the bathroom real quick and then I'll just hang out. And there was nowhere for me to do that in Gary, Indiana. Like I could not find a path. And so going around the state and looking into all of these communities that are resource deprived just makes me so angry, but then also validates what we've been saying this whole time. Like we are not intentional about putting money into the communities that need it most. And so um, as you're going out and as we're doing this last push today and tomorrow to get people out to vote, that's the message. Like we really need people to see what's happening in our state and to vote for people who really want to affect change. And so then you can tell people like, yeah, and we have the most qualified ticket because we have a CPA, we have a lawyer, we have veterans, we have a treasurer already, we have people doing the work. And I'll go ahead and say it this time, we're the most attractive ticket. <laughs> <laughs>